Hey guys, it's Marek here. I'm a budding video game composer and I recently took part in the Global Game Jam 2021. A Game Jam is a really intense 48 hour game making session. You can work collaboratively with friends or people you don't know, or you can do it solo. And yeah, essentially you're given a topic. Um, this year, the topic was lost and found. So we had 48 hours from Friday 5 p.m. till Sunday 5 p.m. to create a game based around Lost and Found. So I was very luckily allowed to join a team who were looking for an audio guy. I didn't know any of them before I started. So the team consisted of four people, one on audio and sound effects, so music as well. Uh, that was myself and then an artist and two programmers. They were all really lovely, really nice, cool people to work with. Game jams are a great way of meeting new people and practicing your chops on whatever it is, on your programming or your art or your music or your sound effects or anything like that. It's a really good way to practice things with a deadline, but they have no real consequence. And so you can kind of push the boat out with what you know and what you don't know. Hopefully by the end, you would have learned something new, met some cool people and made a game. Yeah. So in our team, we banded around the idea of Lost and Found for a while. There were talks of a stealth game, of a kind of sim puzzle game, but we eventually landed on a platformer. And the theme that we ran with was Alice in Wonderland. She's lost in Wonderland and has to find her way home. The artist on our team, Christine, she came up with a really, really cool kind of gothic Alice concept. So we all went with that and that led a lot of the creative decisions that I made with the sound effects and the music that I created. What I've done is I've documented basically a vlog. <laughs> I've documented the whole process over the two or three days. We actually jump in to day two because I forgot to film on day one. Um, and yeah, so this is it. Okay, cool, so it's day two currently. I've spent most of yesterday evening doing sound effects. I'm just gonna show you quickly some of the stuff that I've made so far. So I've got this kind of wind thing, spooky kind of wind. I actually recorded this. Oh, ow. <laughs> I actually recorded this. So I recorded that a couple of times. One of them I've pitch shifted quite a lot and it creates this kind of eerie, I've obviously slapped some reverb on there, done all this stuff. So it creates this really kind of like cold, harsh sounding wind, which I thought would be really cool. And then I also got uh, my amazing girlfriend, Molly, to record some sounds of her sort of jumping. Um, I tried it with my own voice, but because this is for a female character, I tried doing it with my own voice and pitch shifting it, but it just didn't work. So had these. And then I've also got this. So door creaking, I've got like three different samples here. So this one down here is actually this chair. I'll take a listen. Okay. Pretty good, right? Uh, slap that in with another creak sound. So yeah, those are my door closing uh, things. Also some walking in leather boot sounds. I've got loads of stuff. All of this, apart from like two or three of the door creaking things, is um, all original samples. So yeah, had a real blast doing this stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna start writing some music. So an idea that I had and was thrown around in, a, in the team that I'm in was to uh, have like one track which starts off really, really dark. And then as Alice progresses through the levels, gets slightly brighter each time. That's a good for a number of reasons in this context. One is we can have kind of three or four instances of the same tune, so that saves me time. And it means I can focus on making this better rather than having to make three or four completely different tracks. And also it gives a bit of continuity and a bit of the idea of progression and it's using audio to really help feed into the gameplay as well. 
Okay, hello again. Um, it is now 8.30 in the evening. Um, I'm not going to lie, it's been a pretty tricky f couple hours. Yeah, so, so this is the thing with music making sometimes is some days it's so it comes so easily. Other days it's quite tricky. I've come up with a loop, a one minute loop. This, this is the thing again, only one minute, you know. Um, I've come up with a one minute loop, which I'm pretty pleased with. Um, and it sounds like this. Yeah, that, that's what, I, what I've come up with. I think it fits the idea of this kind of creepy Alice in Wonderland vibe. So what I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna start working on reproducing these tracks, but each time maybe with like a slightly lighter element, swapping out some of the double basses or cellos for other instruments or even the um, getting rid of the kind of the drum beats in there. Uh, I've got a few ideas in my head, so yeah, this is that's what I'm gonna do now essentially um, Yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. By the way My nose is super duper red. That's how you know it's cold right now because I look like Rudolph It's not really a game jam if you haven't got one of these at half nine. Okay, so it is the uh, last morning, Sunday morning. Um, you might be able to tell I'm a little bit groggy after that, <laughs> after that energy drink that I had last night, but I was able to get some good work done. Yeah, so I have finished two songs now, or two versions, level one and level two. Um, yeah, so let me just quickly show you um, the level three idea that I've got at the moment. So as you can hear, I've got a new bass line when the main kind of theme kicks in, which I really love. Um, I don't know why, I was just vibing to it yesterday, so I would definitely want to keep that. It adds a bit more energy, I think. Um, I've also gotten rid of the double basses and the cellos and have replaced those with uh, flutes and like clarinets and stuff, so to create that kind of brighter feel. Yeah, so I really like it. Um, I think there's just a few things need tweaking. Yeah, so that's for today. And then level four. Level four is going to be nice and bright. And I feel like that there won't be any more than four levels.
Okay, so um, I've finished level three and went on to level four, which I, was is the last one I'm making. Um, and I just decided to make it major. Um, so it does sound quite different, but it does give this sense that, oh yeah, I'm here now, I'm at the end. So yeah, I had the, um, kept the bass line in, but made that major as well. Kept the new drums in from level three as well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it on the music stuff. I'm feeling very tired right now. So I'm quite glad this is coming to an end. So yeah, that was my experience of the game jam this year. Um, unfortunately, not all of the audio was implemented in time, but that is fair enough. Like the programmers have a lot on their plate. The programmers have by far and away the most difficult job out of everyone in the game jam, in my opinion. Um, because they're the ones, without them, there's no game. So what I've done is I've got some footage of the game from a friend of mine. Um, because I am a Mac scrub, I couldn't actually play the game. <laughs> I couldn't actually play the game. So I got some footage. Hopefully, uh, you think it works. If you did, I would love to hear what you thought works, what you thought didn't work. And yeah, um, honestly, game jams are such good fun. I've done two or three now, and I would highly, highly, highly recommend um, any devs, artists, writers, programmers, anyone who wants to kind of practice their craft in a kind of fun, intense way, uh, do a game jam, honestly. It's, it's great fun. And the more people we add to the Game Jam community, and there are thousands, tens of thousands of people doing Game Jams every week, um, the better. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you did, please hit a like, subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And if there's anyone else, if there's anyone who wants to do a Game Jam and needs an audio guy, hit me up, because I'm always down, I'm always down. Um, yes, yeah, so I will see you in the next one.